What's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and today we're going over three reasons to release a single. At the end, I'm going to compare singles to a high volume single strategy and even make a few recommendations. But first, let's get right into number one. The number one reason to release a single is basically just to create hype. Increase exposure. Whether you want to think about this as an artist because you don't have a fan base and you want to increase exposure and get more people to know about you, get some hype around you so people can start becoming fans, or if you want to look at it from a standpoint of pre-game and a project where somebody releases a single and then they're creating hype for a project that's coming up. All of it is just to create hype and awareness. Hype and awareness. It's that simple nothing complicated and then you have number two which is extend the life of a single or project so extending the life of a single with another single is typically a remix yeah people might do videos and other things to add on to extension but it's pretty much a remix and extending the life of a project looks like single after single after single on a project as a matter of fact Michael Jackson back in the days used to do like a year plus on one album sometimes just releasing single after single after single doing the single and video for the entire project. And number three, focus. One of the primary differences between the high volume strategy and just a single by itself is when you just have one single you get to put a lot of focus and a lot of resources and energy behind that one single. Since you're focusing on it, you're going to get the most out of it. You'll probably create all this additional aesthetic around it. So basically what number two and three on this list are about is really milking every single thing you can out of a project before you move on to something else. Perfect example of all three of these is how Fetty Wap did with Trap Queen. I did an entire video on that, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it right here. Check it out. And as he did, many artists use this strategy when they wanna get signed. Not necessarily independent, but they just wanna push to get the most results and most exposure out of it, so then they can build enough fan base to leverage and get signed. And as promised, a few recommendations. Uh, one thing I like for a lot of artists, particularly if they haven't release anything at all or even if they're just new is a single a project and then another single to extend the life of the project and this is all assuming people actually you know like what you're doing so what that might look as is drop a single just to start letting a few people who are immediately around you know that hey you're doing this but then going really serious on the project but I like to keep it super simple, especially for new people who are independent and doing it on their own. So let's create, say you create a five to seven song project. You kind of put the project out. You don't say anything about it, but you push one song as a single. You push one song as a single and that leads people back to everything else and you get exposure off of that. But then at the same time, you're watching behavior and seeing which other song people like the best. And then you end up pushing that song as the second single and going hard on that. And if you want to do three, ah, you know, that's all up to you. But that's just some general advice. Nothing sticks with everybody. I would obviously have to know more particulars about people's situations, but that's just a nice framework to start off with. Other than that, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.